host. I uh, MDP for the uh, Mindstorms NXT, and uh, here we have a Bluetooth remote. Um, I'm sending signals to my Bluetooth uh, remote uh, vehicle. It's got a digital camera I mounted on it and a uh, wireless transmitter. Transmits back to the laptop and uh, transmits video back. To the transmits video back to the laptop. Yes, um, that's a completely separate system from the uh, NXT device. <laughs> oh, sorry, you. Uh, you're right. You're right. But uh, I also added a bionicle Xamor Sphere shooter on the front because I get lots of people that like to come over and stop in front of the camera. <laughs> so, so to get them out of the way. Yeah, you, you just gotta give them a little the area. Body, you know, yeah. uh, like this young man right here. Go for it. Tell me about the, uh, the subsystem you have with the, the uh, camera. The uh, camera is just a, it's a standard off-the-shelf digital camera. It's a Kodak V570. Okay. Um, it transmits by USB to RCA cables. They go into the wireless transmitter on the bag, powered by a AA battery pack. Okay, so it's just like in live camera mode then. Yeah. Much like most cameras can do, right? And so you're just feeding that output into feeding that output into a wireless, a wireless transmitter. I have a wireless receiver over here. And I'll bet you we probably aren't gonna be able to run it. How much is that system? Do you know? The the wireless transmitter? Uh, that is um, it's about two hundred dollars. Two hundred dollars? Yeah. What would you say about the responsiveness of the, the controller you know, and Bluetooth? The, How's that working? The responsiveness is very good. It's got a nice range on it. Um, I was probably 150, 200 feet away yesterday uh, driving uh, with, the, with the wireless transmitter. I was able to do that, and it was it was very very good. Um, there are some neat tricks that uh, I just learned that actually make it much more responsive. What tricks are those? Uh, well, you uh, you have to. Basically what I have is I'm sending messages back and forth and uh, it misses one every once in a while. It, it doesn't get the messages and so it will actually jump and it will lurch and it will get a message and then there's no message and so it sets the motors to zero, shuts them off. Um, so there is an option in the Bluetooth to check to see if a message was received and if it was then you tell it to set the motors to that message. So if there was no message, it doesn't it doesn't detract from what it was doing in the first place. What it was doing. So that really makes the the uh, responsiveness of the remote uh, setup much more responsive. It really helps out. Excellent.